Eurovision tomorrow. <laughs> Our Eurovision party in full swing. This lot have been going solid since about 5.30 this morning. Yeah. <laughs> Only got to sustain it until uh, about midnight tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're delighted to scoot you with us this morning. Yeah. Back in yeah. 2007. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Gosh, I can't believe this is long we, gone. Yeah. we haven't right. taken the seats off I was going to say, yeah, yeah still got it. it. <laughs> Memories of the whole experience. Was it just as crazy as it looked? Absolute madness. Uh -huh. <laughs> we, had, we had loads of fun. So I think we rocketed to stardom all of a sudden, you know, for a few weeks. And then, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Do you well, still remember we... every single dance move? Oh, of course. Oh, yeah. We were doing it. We haven't been to bed yet. We were doing a gig last night. So two gigs. This time of year, yeah, it's the busiest week of our. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that shade of blue is, is quite invigorating. It is. Yeah. Yeah. Electric. Uh, electric. Say, yeah. It's yeah. definitely it's electric, I must say. What do you think, how do you think blue will be feeling today, knowing what's ahead of them? I mean, Incredibly it's, nervous. It's really, really exciting, but it is, it's the most nerve-wracking thing I've ever done. Yeah. Yeah. I definitely. just hope they haven't been, uh, they've got a reputation for enjoying themselves, they're like a night out, so I hope they've been resting their voices and mm. behaving themselves. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Let's yeah. talk actually. to some of our uh, fans. Uh, Jasmine, Jasmine, Hello. super fan. So, what do you uh, what do you think of what do you think of our chances? Same as every year, pretty much. Right. So you're going into this with no hope whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs> pretty much. All right. Okay. Can you be any more positive? The French are one of the favourites, uh, uh, Cecile. So, what what do you think of the UK's chances? Um, they're all right, but I'm more of a Jedward fans, to be honest. Yeah. I think they have a really good song. They're really funny, and they yeah. But France is going to win. So don't, don't tell me Jedward are big in France. Surely not. No, they're not. Sadly. Okay. <laughs> could be. Could be after this weekend. Um, Lucas, it's uh, it's in Germany this year. The Germans aren't known, if you don't mind me saying so, for their sense of humour. But you do need a sense of humour to get the most out of Eurovision. I think so, and uh, I think this time we are defending the title and hosting it as well, and um, it's very exciting, um, and hopefully we'll uh, enjoy it as much as we did last year, and I think hopefully that we win. Okay. Mm -hmm. And we, I've got some uh, Serbian friends over here, oh. if I can just move across, with a Serbian flag draped around them. Yeah, yeah Lena, lovely to, uh, lovely to see you. I can never understand how the Serbs and the Croats and the Bosnians all vote for each other. Yes. I mean, they've had a few disagreements in the last 20 years. Comes to Eurovision, <laughs> oh no, we all vote for each other. Love. <laughs> Love and peace. Oh, we, we get all our family actually in the uh, in the neighbouring countries to vote for each other. So that's how we get the vote. So have the Serbs got a chance this year? We think so. We think so. We've got a good song, I think. What's your What's your song? Um, it's called Charoban, which means magical. Yeah. And it's quite kind of 60s, you know, dancey. It's, yeah. it's fun. It's a fun song. It's not that Serbian turbo punk folk no, thing God, that you do. No, thank God, no. It's not. It's not. Well, don't be caught saying that about that <laughs> Serbian turbo folk. You'll be in terrible trouble at home. And what do you What have you got there? Yeah. We had a party on Saturday and yeah. we brought it for you as well to enjoy um, as well. Oh, thank you so very you much. Are. Thank you. Fala Vampuna. Nemina Chamo. I'll drink it while I'm watching you lot tomorrow <laughs> night. You'll so need uh, it thanks for that. Adrian, pump yeah. yourself down again. Okay. Just before we go, I want to show you these. Guess who made Eurovision Cup kicks? Would that be uh, Would that be Sue? Yes. Lovely Sue. There she is. Look over there. Give us a little wave, Sue. Oh. <laughs> Even one for Lithuania. Yeah. How yeah. impressive is that? You see, Wyomini, douze point. I'll give that to you. <laughs> yeah, you could have that. Yeah. So he's actually well. competing in Euro Cake next year. <laughs> we're, we're, we're pretty sure she is going to win. Lucas, you can have that. It's a Eurovision uh, Song Contest night tomorrow. And we've had uh, the cheeriest bunch of people you ever did see in our green room. Just look at them. There you go. They don't realise they're on camera. When they do, they automatically start what like a reflex action start waving their flags yeah there's steve slap bang in the middle of it all yeah i mean ironically no one has touched the cheese this is eurovision they say it's cheesy but no one's eating the brie this morning but we've got the food here from around europe now we did ask everyone to have a fight and kind of get in the order that they thought might be the result although i have a feeling there might be a bit of favoritism going on because we have <laughs> somehow the uk's ended up as the favorite here do you think we're really going to win yes yeah yeah if i was representing it would can you sing yeah. I say it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't necessarily matter. <laughs> Russia represent because I'm Russian, and Russia gonna vote for UK. Are you Russian? Yes. Are you Russian? <laughs> <laughs> nice goal there. And France as well. Do you, do you feel confident that's where you should be? Oh yeah, yeah. They've got really good chances. He's, he's following his heart. He loves what he does, so it's not cheesy for him. It's a real thing. He's a proper singer, an opera singer, isn't he, for yeah. France entry? Let's take a look at the real odds, actually, about who might win this year. The favourite, 
is indeed France actually to win. We have odds of 15 to 8 for France to win. Ireland, of course, have shot up now. Jed would have qualified 11 to 4 for Jedwood to win with lipstick. Uh, the UK are 10 to 1, third favourites, although. 50 to 1 if you fancy a flutter, 50 to 1 that Blue will walk away with Neil Poir. Will it happen, Scooch? I don't think so, no. 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 They've got a great no. fan base in Europe, so I think, I reckon, I predict sort of top five. Brilliant. Mm -hmm. Everyone shout for which country you want to win? Live yeah. 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 Everybody said UK. Go Blue. <laughs> Go Blue. Good luck. We'll be thinking of you.